Hi everyone, and welcome back to Rocket Punch Radio Plays Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I'm your player, uh, slash vampire initiate. Uh, I'd say I'm kind of a novice at this point. I'm Nate. Uh, joining me, as always, is uh, my co-host, Samantha. Hello. Uh, who is knows much more about the world of darkness than I do. And, uh... She's here to help guide me along on this uh, journey. This is episode... Shit, I probably should have looked this up. I think this is episode 9. It might be 8. Um, it'll be numbered in the uh, in the title description when it goes up on YouTube anyways. Uh, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, we have not played in the last 3 weeks uh, because of various things that have been going on. Um, in the United States, uh, today is June. What is it? The tenth. Today is June tenth, twenty twenty. Also known as the five millionth day of twenty twenty. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, before we begin, um, we are not the people to talk about this sort of thing because this isn't something that really. Um, affects either of us, but we just want to say um, em emphatically and clearly that black lives fucking matter, and if you don't agree, fuck off. Uh, that's, that, that about sums it up. Um, if, uh, so if you are joining us to watch this today, we hope that you're, uh, both getting involved in any way that you feel safe doing so, and that you are also taking time to care for yourself in any way that you need to. So, uh, it's it's heavy out there, and and part of resistance is recovery. So, if this is how you're chilling out. That's what we're doing here. We're gonna vampires for a little while. Yep, and. and uh, and uh, do keep in mind that this game, uh, that Vampire and the World of Darkness is often a very, well, for lack of a better term, a, a you know, a dark game. It's called and The World of Darkness. deeply problematic. And deeply problematic <laughs> in ways. It's a, um, you know, it's, it's called The World of Darkness for a reason. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're not able to, uh, you know, to watch right now. Hey, that's fine. We'll, you can click on the video when you're ready. We'll be here. So, with that said, uh, let's get into it. I don't remember where I was. Oh, I just met the Anarchs. Yeah, yeah, you had just gone into the, the shitty bar and yep. gotten some lip from some of the folks there and talked to Jack again. I ah, yes, character. yes. You, you were saying that he is a different... Uh, he's not an Anarch in the um, lore of the... Of the game, yeah. but in this he appears to be. Yeah, I think that I think that what I remember, and I can always fact check this, but what I remember is that he acts as a primogen, so like he's a part of the Camarilla sometimes. Okay. Um, but he's kind of independent, and he's so like old and powerful, and he's a gang girl, so like they don't they don't take direction real well. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. So he's. I don't. That's what I would say. I. I mean, lore is hundreds of years long, and I might be wrong about that, but I was under the impression that he was Cam for at least for a little while, sort of nominally. So. Okay. Um. But yeah. Do you think, or are you hoping that he will be in the sequel? I very hope he will be in the sequel, and I hope that. Um, same voice actor voices him, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get him back. So okay. I can't remember the name of the voice actor now. But uh. all right, all right, cool. Can't wait for this part of the video to get a uh, copyright thing on it because there's music playing in the background. All right, <laughs> nobody's listened to this music in 15 years. Chill out, guys. All right. And to be fair, it gets a lot of play on Let's Play. Uh, yeah, true. Okay, so this this is Damsel, like I said. She's gonna be your tanky girlfriend, but... <laughs> oh, yes! I had not talked to her yet. 
Hmm. So, but uh, enjoy her her outfit for a moment. Oh no, yeah, this uh, she's in the wrong town. I I, I believe there is a um, independent six block area in Seattle that she might want to go to. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I I I mean this is going to be the uh the thumbnail for the video. Kate Kim, Camarilla elders, the ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. That is that is also a good insult for somebody who's old. You're so old, you think candlelight's a keen invention? Alright. I make my own fate. Uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. I didn't vote for them. You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the floor we were done. <laughs> Don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. <laughs> Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? I upset you, how unusual. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember the CDC van outside. Oh, dang! So, uh, welcome to Prescience the Video Game. Right? Cool! I was not expecting there to be an epidemic. I had completely forgotten this particular plot point. Wow. Okay. Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really um, gives a damn, they'll help us out. I feel like she's making a lot of leaps here, where like if somebody puts two and two together. What's the real out cause of an outbreak of bloodborne disease? I, I feel like there's a lot of steps between there's a bloodborne <laughs> disease outbreak and vampires. So. Yeah, I would agree with you. However, it is the world of darkness and vampires exist. So. Right. And, and there are that's... people who know, right? Like. Yeah. So, okay. like, the masquerade is a thing partially because leadership. This is definitely, like, some Area 51 shit, right? Okay. Like, government knows. There are people who know. And the Camarilla tries really hard to make sure that only people are know who know are in their control but that's not really feasible so there could be a panic okay oh. plague bear is, is an actual like flaw that you can take in the game and it genuinely sucks because everybody that you bite it's a disease Okay, I, I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask that. So, if you, f so if a plague bearer feeds on someone, it diseases them, and if they give their ghouls blood, it diseases the ghoul. Right. Okay. Okay. So I, at first I thought this was just the thing that would affect ghouls, so I didn't. Okay, that makes Wait, sense though. Uh, it's brutal. Because so many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Damn. Yeah. The. the Part of that is, like, when you have it, when you know you have it, you know you're giving this, like, deadly communicable disease to someone. So every time you feed, it's sort of a fight with your own humanity. Okay. Like, it could really drive your humanity into the dirt, because you're basically killing people. You're sentencing right. them to, like, whatever disease that it is you have. They're usually, like, extremely deadly diseases. Okay. No, tell me what you think. <laughs> I mean, geez, it just makes sense. Power should be redistributed amongst all of us, not just a few. 
communism would actually work for kindred, where it fails with humans. It's just common sense, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna stand over there, but keep talking, I'll be this. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what are your thoughts on the Camarilla? A pyramid scheme. Nothing but musty, withdrawn elders. How's the game audio sound? Sounds good to me. Okay. One more century. You think you have any real power in the cam? You're kidding yourself. You'd be better off without them. You'll see. Hey, I heard. Alright, I wasn't quite. I have some yeah. questions. Tell me about Smiling Jack. Jack. Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. Talk to Jack. He's never sure. Which one is Jack again? Jack is Smiling Jack, the guy downstairs. Yeah. He's the one who walked you through the. Real. Okay. Yeah. Thoughts on the crew. Who the hell does he think he is coming into town claiming Camarilla authority over the city? We kicked them out 60 years ago. It's like oh, wow. back and telling the US how they should do things. Fuck LaCroix. <laughs> Fun fact, she means both the soda and the prince. <laughs> LaCroix's not a soda. Don't insult soda. Mm. <laughs> Carbonated beverage. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about Nyth. Like him in this world or the next. He's to the Anarchs what George Washington was to the colonies, what Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the LA Anarchs personified. He's a great leader, and yet he's humble. I died for it. I mean, some anarchist. <laughs> no one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? <laughs> hey, I heard that. Alright, who's this fucker? <laughs> Showed up. It's mines. Here's what I oh, 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 right, right, right. No, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something five hundred times bigger than you and me. <laughs> you got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's That's what you just said. Timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power. Don't really understand how they're a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Doesn't really know about MLMs there, Nines. Just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this: only a few people at the top have any real power. Yes, okay, I can understand it in that way, but it also sort of works that way in life. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's not really unique to pyramid schemes. That's any corporation. Yep, or any government. Yeah. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Alright, so what are you all about? They're in the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffer. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. That this country was about when? Oh, at when? When? When, Nines? <laughs> the Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a lot. Mm. I see he was educated in the American school system. Uh -uh. Yeah. Goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. We're very politically snarky right now. Mm -hmm. That's like just a sign of the times, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you caught that. It was really quick, so I'm not sure how it looks. It was really quick animation. I'm not sure how it looked on stream, but he goes, I got their meeting right here and pulled the gun out. <laughs> Uh, stuff. Sounds like you're Prince of the Anarchs. No thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. 
I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or swift. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla stuck up I mean, I yeah, I don't see the problem the only place with what uh with what Nines is saying here. <laughs> oh, I mean I would say one you get chaos, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed no yeah. reason to. In this city, three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back always. Oh, can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this and keep your body at an angle. Makes your Stats increased. <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, you needed to be told us how to stand. Mm -hmm. So keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with the Croy, don't give Okay. Speed. So I would say that from the writer's perspective, the Anarchs are the, like, quote-unquote, the guys of the vampires. Like, they're naive, things don't always work, but they want to actually, like, have ideas and want to let the young vampires be without having to, like, lip service to the elder vampires. Okay. Vampires are all bad. <laughs> Can't I mean, be. Yeah. Bad. But, like, there's also that kind of added aspect of it of like try, but they're not. Did you just go out the window? Apparently. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. But yeah. The... So I mean, you kind of got to take all that with a grain of salt. I think. I think one of the things that is interesting to me about um, vampire. Is that there really aren't good guys. You really don't get to play like a good person who wins and does good for the world. Just don't, because vampires are by their very nature shitty bad people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. that must be how you get in if you are a Nosferatu. Yeah, that makes sense. Not climbing through the window. I don't. No oh, wait, it's All right. Okay. Yeah. Jump up there. Okay. Man. Um, but yeah, I think that you did everything that you needed to do in there. Okay. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! You look kind of rough. Oh, you do. Well, I don't believe. Oh, Jesus. I, I got money. Okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him. Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway. Ah, old Tin Can Bill. Not to be confused with uh, Aluminum Can Sally over here. Yeah. Uh, what did that tag say? Oh, uh... I don't know. Fabu? Fabu? Hard to say. Yeah. I would like to do a... Th I, I, I don't think I can, but I think it would be interesting to compare, like, tags in various video games. Uh, and see, like, who actually hired an artist who knows how to do them and who, you know, just didn't, basically. Yeah. I mean, that one looked pretty good for the, like, era. Uh, yeah. Alright, is this thing? Get on! Ah. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you? Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm off. <laughs> Thank you much! <laughs> You just gave him five dollars. You gave the other lady twenty. Yeah. It didn't give you an option to dominate him or anything. If I could have dominated that lady, I, I would have. But um, 
it didn't, and I didn't want to intimidate her. She All she wants is her cans. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly. Teeth longer than your finger. So it sounds like a Nosferatu. Piss yellow. Yeah. Full of hate. I've never seen I. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place. The dark place. I don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and whooped. Through the sewers. Pill, <laughs> stay with me. Did Bill just die? Yes. Why? I was sick. Can I get my money back? Oh. Apparently not. All right. <laughs> Terrible thing that you just said. <laughs> I mean, that old man died. Can I have my five dollars back? Are you gonna use it? Neither are you. Oh, that's true. All right. Um, I guess we're gonna check out the sewers. Just save well, real quick. You're wanting more interesting shit in the sewers. I did. There's nothing interesting in uh in uh Santa Monica. So. Oh, yeah. Use some of them rats, yeah. No. <laughs> Only Tremere that drinks rat blood. <laughs> and well. Five. Get a few more rats, you can do a buff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See, I don't, I don't think, mind. You, you're not. You're not even raising your blood right now. I'm not. No, oh, I don't know that rat blood is good enough to raise your blood. It it, it raised a little bit. Okay. Yeah. What is that? That probably kills me. Er. I. I wouldn't jump down there. Can you swim in this game? I don't recall, but I would not guess that it's a safe bet. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, my, my, uh, not a whole lot. Yeah, it's going up a little bit, though, so. Boom. And here we go. Harley Fingers! Yeah! Ugh. <laughs> okay. That's all. Ugh. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember this nearly as well. Okay. We can both yeah. be surprised. Yeah. I mean, I remember some of the bigger set pieces in the rest of the game, but this this I don't remember that well. I think that's where you came. Yeah, I came up through there, so I might as well go this way. I love this idea of, like, you know, cathedrals and shit underground in the sewers that... Yeah. Oh, okay. There's, there is no reason for there to be, like, pillars and stuff. Yeah. It looks like a meat hook. That's exactly what I was thinking. Whoa, okay. Oh, jeez. On your way down here, did you? Following the smell of entrails and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Huh, Meek Galore was my nickname in high school. That's my OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a better joke. Bloated bodies, the maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the 
signs. The coming of a new age. Okay, buddy. Oh, I see. You've lost your goddamn marbles. <laughs> I love how shitty your character can be. Mm -hmm. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. So is this a thing from the uh, lore, or is this for the game? Just for this game? Like having a, I, there definitely is a, a destruction death cult. Do not know if this person is a okay. member of the cult. The doors have been opened. The seals broken. Okay, buddy. They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring. Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. Ew. I will show you the mysteries of our brother. Uh. You might struggle with this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm. Here go fire axe. Yep. Oh. That is efficient. Not what I meant to. I don't know. What the hell? I don't understand why I use that, but okay. Can't let the man down. Hmm. Might be dead. The man on the wall, but he might not. Who knows? Nah, he dead. <laughs> yeah. I see some. Okay. It said it said there was a masquerade violation renewed or something like that. That was. Yeah, because you killed the plague bearer. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know honestly. I believe that you killed the plague bearer. This this was a pretty short little quest line. Uh, I think I think that man stuck there. No, I I look. I will. All right, fine. <laughs> ah, here we go. So. I have some yellow in my health bar. Am I a plague bearer now? No, I think that you're just you. You took aggravated damage. Okay. I don't know what that did. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, I bet that has something to do with how you get out. Okay. Well, whatever it is is open now. Or I'm just gonna carry this axe just in case. Good plan. It's a pretty shitty cult to only have like one member. Right? That cult. Yeah, no like no ads or anything? Like what the fuck? Okay. Could you pull those So oh, I can Pull yeah. the one it made a clank the... sound. It just does that. I think you can just pull them back and swing them. Oh, maybe that's meant to be a thing that you can do during the fight? Yeah. Oh, they're making a specific clank sound. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Is the, is the room filling with water? No. Oh. Looks like it. Although... No, when... When we first uh, started playing this game, I had a guide open, and I was gonna like help you with all the shit you didn't know. At this point, I'm just—I feel like we're just guessing our way through it, which is kind yeah. of yeah, more fun for the content. Oh god, the water is so trippy. <laughs> yeah, it yeah it does that a lot. All right. All right. If, you, if you want to look up this part, feel free. Whoa! Fuck me. Oh. Okay. Uh, so that that opened. Yeah. I think you do need to drain the water somehow. Okay. Oh, I see. That opened. So now. If I can. Like. Ugh, the, See, the water texture is making me. It, lo it oh. looks like it's getting deeper, but it's just because of that. 
All right. Close. So probably. Oh. So that's Working the thing out. that it closed. W was that gate? So I think when I came in here, he uh, he closed the gate. Ah. Uh. Okay, that's not a big deal. This is just. <laughs> Let me keep doing this, I guess. Nope. So each time I do it, one time it goes one way. Oh, that's just spinning a lot more. Alright, let go all the way that way. Okay, interesting. Are you looking it up? I am looking it up. Uh, and it turns out there's more to this. That's interesting. Okay. Jeez. Alright. What do I gotta do here? Let's see. It's definitely like something with these, right? Yeah. Push the switch to raise the bars and leave the sewers. Okay. That is what it says to do. That is what I started doing. Yeah. So I think you just need to go back out into that main room and figure out how to get the hell out of here. So that's where I came from. There's no ladder. Yeah. And then over here I can't jump. Up there. Oh, apparently I can jump up there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there is more there's more to this this line, which is good to know. Alright, okay. It it it's like that was weird. It's like that um what was it that that doctor serial killer guy mm -hmm. in uh in Santa Monica? Like that was just a weird quest that kinda just started and ended. Right. This yeah, come on. I'm not when I on. when I did the serial killer quest, I did it way, way later because I could not find that little stairwell that led down, but you found it right away, so yeah. Oh boy. Okay, well. Game. Are we gonna see what happens when you fall in that yeah. hole? The, the plant. Okay. Yolo. Uh. Um, I guess you can swim, and I guess right. you don't need to breathe because you're a vampire. Oh, vampires don't need to breathe. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> you still have your axe out. Uh, yeah. That. Hey, welcome to the regular sewers again. That's fun. All right. All right. So let's see what my quest says. The report back to Damsel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is so trippy. Uh, the water makes me a little bit nauseous. Yeah. I hear that. Um. Through here? I mean, you came through that locked door. Oh, but I mean, anything that lets you out to the surface. That's a down. Probably not that way. That's the water I just came from? Okay. Yeah. You probably need to go out to the uh, door that you unlocked. Okay. This way, yep. Ah, there we go. I know, this just brings me to another room in the sewer. That's where I went. That's where I dropped uh, down. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I, I came in the, the door from outside. When yeah. I first came in here, so it's... Not that way, that's the... Mm. I feel like... That's 
down. Ah, here we go. Okay, see, this is confusing because I'm going up the same amount and now I'm going to the street. <laughs> Whereas before, in that other side, I went up and I'm still in the fucking sewer. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. A hill? There was a hill? Hill. We're inside a hill. Okay, that, sure. Why not? <laughs> Mm. Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so nice today. We've had the windows open. Oh really? Nice. Yeah. It's. It's been like half the days have been like hot and humid, and mm -hmm. uh, like gross, and the other half have been actually like nice. Like in the seventies with a breeze and stuff, so Yeah, uh, it's been raining like crazy, but Oh, alright. Huh, her shirt. <laughs> what does it say? I can't read it. It says Army Troika. Oh. Yeah. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how. Okay. I hope they're more of a challenge than the last one. So, uh, in my opinion, is the, that's the guy who wants you to talk to the girl in the club. Yep. You're carrying a 6,000 year curse. That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will. And it'll make you open. Okay. That shit stretches all the way back to Cain. This is some, uh, very sabot wokeness that he's demonstrating right now. Right? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity. One of the things that I find, that I always find interesting about, like, vampire myths that, like, say that, like, Cain is the first vampire. Yeah. Is that, like... Like I, I I get like I get why Western culture says that because mm -hmm. you know for two thousand years much of Western culture has been you know taken over by by Christian belief and stuff but hey. like the idea that oh it, you know Cain killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God like did no brother before that kill so so obviously that is the Bible story that that Cain was the first murderer. But right. unless we're like, unless the these vampire mythos also like say that hey, the Bible like the Bible is true, right? Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve were the first people. Like yeah. you kind like you kind of have to accept that premise for the huh. premise of God cursing Cain. Yeah, you you do. It's. Actually, right? in our, in you, our play like, by you, post game, it's it's such a fun thing to have that conversation with someone who doesn't believe for the first time. Like, uh, yeah, the Bible's true. It fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> like, right? Okay. So, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Also, interesting fact within this universe, um, there is a clan called the Setites mm -hmm. that believe that Set was the first vampire. Okay. And there are. Quajin, which the Quajin are infinitely problematic, and I don't really have the uh, knowledge to speak on it, but they are Eastern vampires okay. that, uh, that have, like, a completely different, like, creation mythos. So, um, none of it agrees with each other. Okay, so, so, that, so if they acknowledged that in the mythos, that none of it actually agrees, mm -hmm. like, I think that's interesting. 
Because like, I, I think you could say, like, in that case, like, oh, the you know, the, the Western vampires think one thing and the Eastern vampires think another thing, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And then, like, you could go on, like, you know, native vampires think another thing and and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But, like, if it's just, like, nope, Kane, this is how it started, it's, like, I have a lot more questions. <laughs> I mean, I think that's I think that's fair. I think it's interesting um, to to kind of consider. Also, like vampire mythos, at least within this game, includes like the first city, the city of light, and like uh, children of men, like living within the city of Cain, and, and like it's actually the city of Enoch. Whatever. There's like a whole thing that like talks about where it different different. Diff differences from the bible and stuff like that so elaborate and confusing um but yeah there's a bunch of different creation mythos the, the werewolves don't believe any of uh human gods because werewolves were the first people along with other animal races other animal changing races like bears and snakes and okay Foxes and got only all of the you know changing races, crows and da da da, and they have an animal or an anim, animistic creation myth of like Mother Gaia and you know like Mother Sun and like the whole like um, their creation myth, and that's borne out in the fact that humans are super afraid of werewolves, and whenever they see a werewolf in a non-changed form, they uh, go into a panic frenzy and run away and then rationalize away what they've seen because it's like a racial memory of when werewolves uh, basically dominated and ruled the earth and kept humans as like chattel. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's a lot is what I'm saying. <laughs> that's that's another creation myth where that is is within the game and and like werewolves go to talk to spirits and like presumably worship mother gaia and like it's very complicated complicated it's like everything is true and nothing is true so okay. well so they acknowledge that it is decent at least but that yeah. but like that also in general is like a thing i have with a lot of like western mythology or like mm -hmm. so, so like supernatural that dumb, dumb, dumb show, like, yeah. eventually got to the point, you know, where they're fighting angels and demons, and there's, got like, literal God, and, huh. like, literal, like, Lucifer and stuff, and, and, like, they have this episode where, like, a bunch of the gods from other pantheons are there, and Lucifer, who's just an angel in Christian mythos, is more powerful than gods from other mythos. It's like mm. that is that is some Western bullshit right there. <laughs> that is some Western bullshit. Oh, uh, another. Th I'm not familiar with the game. There is actually a game in World of Darkness called Demon the Fallen, where you play a literal ass demon. Do not know anything about it, but I do know that it exists. So that's fun too, I guess. <laughs> Everything's true and nothing matters. Yeah. Okay, that guy was interesting to talk to. Um, I think it's interesting that he was talking about Kane, because generally speaking... What's up? They don't, yeah. Well, he yeah. did say, um... He, he, did, he did mention... That guy did mention that he, um, wanted... Or, he didn't want to know if Kane was real or not. Yeah. So. I just think that's really fun, like... In the, in the game to explain to new vampire like bad news god is real and he hates you now yeah like, it's, <laughs> it's delightful it is it is always a conversation that's fun to have so <laughs> in a certain definition of fun i guess all right so i don't know why Okay, guys, you seem to be taking this a little far. Uh, what oh, the good. fuck? Baby sale. <laughs> uh. How many do you need, Nate? Uh, I I could go for like 
a good five, six babies, probably. Yeah. I mean, I think right now your blood meter is full enough that you probably only need, like, one or two. I mean, I guess it depends on the, the quality of baby. Size of the baby. <laughs> which is really fucked up when you think about it. Uh, yeah. Alright, where is this apartment complex? So there's these uh, are... You have a map, right? Yeah, I sure do. Maybe. I'm for map? <laughs> no, remember there was no map. There's a... There's definitely a map on the side of the subway. There, there is, yeah. Um, should I up anything? I mean, you should always up something. Uh... Heck, like... I mean, you've been doing a lot of lock picking, so I figure, yeah. like... Security, or... Or actually, probably computers, because... That's when you can't but blood buff, right? Yeah. If you can, you can't afford it right now, but maybe. How much is that intelligence point, or is it? Eight. Uh, it's not that. It's is it wits? Oh, uh, wits. Yeah, wits is. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be eight anyway, but. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's up to you. I I would say that hacking is probably your best skill to raise, just yeah, because. Yeah, that's a good point. There's a lot of stuff I haven't been able to get into. All right. Van. Oh, if there's a there's a thing. It's, it's not related to your current quest. I mean, you can look at it on the inside of the. Yeah, it's not really high res enough. You can't take it. No. Right. Yeah, I know there was one somewhere. Some um. Hey, uh, Clems is in the chat. Clems, if you want to look up how to get a fucking map, that would be sick to death. <laughs> this, um, this is Lacroix's building. Is it okay? Can tell because of the statue. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's okay. We can, uh, we can check on uh. How Chubbs is doing? Yeah. What's up, Chubbs? I think his name is Chunk. Go just what be a... mean right now. Yeah, I mean, right on up and see Mr. Lacroix. Hmm. That ermine gland oil and that new badge polish really makes this sucker shine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, the only good character in this game. <laughs> the only good cop is an officer, mm -hmm. Chunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a, he's a security guard. Good. Yeah. All right. There's the CDC dudes hanging out. Yep. Oh. What's up, bro? Looks just like the one that you murdered in your apartment. Yeah, well. Quit your job, asshole. Is he a policeman or a security guard? It says police on his thing. Oh. Uh, how to get a map, Clems. Help a dude out. Yeah, this is... Ugh. Uh, you're oh, not parked how you can... should be. Oh, what is this? This is a, this is a fun little side quest. Uh, okay. But this this side quest glitched for me, and I had mm. to no clip through it. But it's probably fine for you. I would go in there and just get it. Okay. Well, I was gonna say. Uh, this might be spooky. It's not really, but. I'm just warning you ahead of time that it might there might be spooks in here. Okay, are we talking? Help me! Help me! My crew! My crew! We, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. Oh, you, you told me about this guy. Right behind me. Yeah. Look. Thank you, Clems. Clems sent me a map. Okay. Oh, that works. We were setting up downstairs and we are We usually fake these things. So nice for them to admit it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No, no, don't go down there. Hang out. 
Oh, he's even got... <laughs> Haunted LA. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh boy. I can I do anything here? No. Oh. I genuinely can't help you with this because, like I said, it completely glitched for me, and I had to no clip. So oh, okay, I couldn't I couldn't open this door, so I don't really know I how see. this whole thing goes. You asshole! But uh, there aren't any ghosts in here. I will tell you that. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. It's not. Mm, <laughs> I don't remember off the top. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh. Right. I had to hit E and not attack it. Okay. Actually, there. Okay, are it's like. <laughs> Shooter. <laughs> Okay, so I can't, like, interact with these things or anything. No, but you can see them. Yeah. So this is clearly, like, an old asylum. Or hospital. Old hospital, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I know what's down here, so, like, this makes a little bit more sense. All right. I don't want to spoil it for you, but no, no, I, no, no, I, no, also, I also don't want you to get caught like you were in the in the haunted hotel with something that freaks you out. So. I mean, if it's not ghosts, and particularly ghost children, I'm I'm fine. There's definitely no children. Oh my god. No. It's actually kind of cool to see this, like, way it was meant to be seen. Like I said, I Ooh. I absolutely... Jesus Christ. Uh, I yeah. absolutely didn't see any of it because I was... It was completely glitched out for me, so... I mean, I'm feeling like this is a... Nosferatu Go thing, yeah. But, like, can't seem to get in there, but... Okay. I have a door that won't fucking open. It's haunted! <laughs> it's broken. I've trained for this. <laughs> I think there's just, like, shit oh, outside the go. door. Uh, um, I think you can move some of that, so... Oh, there you oh, go. There there's go. a hole in the ground. So, how far did you have to... You had to, like, no-clip the whole area? I had to no-clip the whole area because I couldn't get in the first door. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Apparently, vampires don't have dark vision. No. Well, I mean, eventually you might. Hmm. Aspect seems to work. Aspects does. This is where you came from? Is that not? Yeah, this is the other hole. But yeah. I can't, like, actually go in there, it seems like. Alright. Seems kind of weird that this exists here if there's not, like, a body or anything, like. Yeah. I love physics. Yeah. I think you can move some of this, some of that shit out of the way. Okay. You might be able to crawl under the bed. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing?
just uh, exploded. Uh huh. I'm gonna come around to you. Okay. Bro. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. So, uh... You come here often? <laughs> Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes. What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? You have to. We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital her, for I like her eyes. They look cool. Yeah. My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. I love her. Yeah, she's, she's great. City is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind ups. Hmm. Eventually. <laughs> Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some vampires have to eat flesh to live. So, it uh, sucks. Yeah, uh, so, so is there, like, a reason why? Uh, it's their clan curse. Oh, what clan is it? Um, Nagaraja. Okay. They don't. They're also one that doesn't necessarily believe in Cain, the the big guy. Okay. Uh. I don't know how to get out of here. I know clipped out, but yeah, I think that's... I think you can go up through that vent. Get up there. Uh, where? Uh, turn around. It's in the it's in the room with her, like to the left there. Oh oh oh. Okay. Might be able to do that. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't... Don't have a double jump. Or... Okay. <laughs> don't have a double jump or a, like, climbing over thing. Like a mantling ability until physics demands it. Alright, where the fuck is this guy? He wasn't here. Yeah. I think he's in or the no. that room. Yeah. Uh no, the room with the computers. These maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe not. The outside? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so that's interesting. Is she the only member of that clan um, that's in this uh, game? I believe so, yeah. That, that's that's interesting. I didn't... I, at first I thought she was, like, bullshitting. I, th I, think, I think she's cool. The clan is pretty... Uh, it's a pretty rough clan to be a part of, because... Having to eat humans is a pretty rough gig to have. I think he's over by his car. Down there. Oh, by the van? No, because yeah. that guy was there. Yeah. Sorry, lady. <laughs> he he saw too much and he got away. Um. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. 
Maybe you just needed to. Like I said, this completely glitched out for me too, so. Okay. We have to look up console commands to fix it. I... Yeah, alright. I'll go through here. Yep, boom, boom. Caved in. Okay. There. Yeah. Look it up real quick, just so we have it on hand if you mm -hmm. need it. Bro. Where'd you go, bro? <sighs> Steam in 2014. Uh. What's that? I'm just reading. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh. I made a request of you. Hmm. I haven't sent him down here because I can't fucking find him. So it says the uh, camera is stuck before because the door is locked, and some, sometimes he's too stupid to unlock his own door. So which oh. door? Yeah. Oh boy. Well, I mean, this is the first. This is like the first major glitch that I've uh, that I've encountered. So. Oh, aside from the blood bag that wasn't there. What's that? Aside from the blood bag that wasn't there, we had one other that you had to. Oh, oh right, 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 yeah. Yeah, the werewolf blood. Right? Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because he said he was going to wait here. Damn. I mean, I kind of feel like I should kill this lady at least to get an experience point out of it. Uh, I think that you should... Well, it depends. If you want to... If you want to... But, down with her, I guess, but... but... No, she seemed cool. I mean, you know, she eats people, but like, you know, cool. Uh... I mean, who am I to judge? Is there... A room with, a, like, his desk and, like, computer and stuff? Because I think he's supposed to... I don't know! I'm so confused! Okay. Thank you, people on the stream, for bearing with us while this game yeah. is fucked. Okay, room with the computers. There. There's nothing on that yeah. desk. Yep. There, there are no other like locked rooms where he's locked himself in. I haven't encountered a locked room yet. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Like a business card that you need for him too, so. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah, which you can you can go without yeah. it. Yeah. But... You know what? That's you. You get a, you get through there by climbing through the grate. That's yeah. the other side. So. Okay, let's let's try that. 
Oh, right. And so. I, he's not going to be on this side of the things. He definitely oh, yeah. didn't. Good call. Good call. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I can't even get in that door anyways. Yeah. And then back to where we started. Oh. Okay. That was easier. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Uh... I don't know where he is at all. Hmm. Oh, let's go do something else. Maybe he'll turn up. Okay. Games are weird like that. <laughs> What's the other, um... Uh, there is another door in this little area. Is that something that you can go inside? Um, let's see. That's where you just came from. I meant, like, outside. Oh, oh you meant outside. My bad. Yeah. Um, no, it, I, I don't think I could a access the door. Okay. There's a couple of console commands that look like they might work, but at the same time, they are... It don't actually seem like they're going to be that effective, because you don't see his him at all. Yeah, is there anything... Is there anything that spawns him into the world? Uh... Let me see. Console command. Oh. oh, hey, I found a map. This is a fancy place. What is... Ooh. Ooh. Item gained. Thaumaturgical creatures. Hey, it's your house. <laughs> yeah. Gargoyle. Oh, interesting. So I need to hire research to use this. Okay. You're too stupid to read that book. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is wait. very fancy. Oh, okay. I think that he goes to his a his apartment. Oh, okay. You need to go to Skyline Apartments. I think that's we're just too dumb to know how a quest works. I thought he was going to stay in the house. But... I mean, doesn't say so. Yeah. Yeah, and like. She wants you to send the TV reporter down to her lair, like. That that sounds like he's still there if you're sending him down. Right. To her lair, right? Yeah. So, okay. Fun fact, this is a maze. Ah. But, but you're a Tremere, so you tussled through it like you knew where you were going, which is nice. Interesting. I was literally just exploring. Bro, uh, no, see, you're in Vampire the Masquerade. I think you're looking for the Matrix. Um, <laughs> you're, you're on the wrong set, bro. Okay. <laughs> that painting, though. Hmm? That is a classic. I think last time you saw that painting, it's Cain and Abel. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, I think last I... time you said the same thing. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> like Probably. a month. Can be forgiven for forgetting. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking. Ah, yes, this guy. Quite some time. Strauss, Maximilian Strauss. This is okay. Regent of this chantry. 
Welcome. I've never seen this because I never played a Tremere. Oh, interesting. We share the same blood, you and I. I mean, he called it a pyramid. Hmm. Well, Tremere, like, organization is called oh, a pyramid. Oh, okay. The new life in which you find yourself undoubtedly seems strange. I'm sure you have many questions, young one. I will answer those which I am able. Is he gonna, like, offer me two pills? Might. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are. St a chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live. Interesting. In I'm new around here, Max. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going on here in downtown the word on everyone's lips it seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate to uh. the town population considering a <laughs> yes indeed my opinion is that the <laughs> I'm just gonna give the most douchebag answers <laughs> this dude is chill as hell yeah he, d he doesn't I thought he'd be like don't talk to me like that but no he's 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 cool Hmm. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior. Surely. The Croy is a prince, neonate, and the Ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I, but I say too much. Okay. <laughs> I have overstepped my back. Surely. The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose. I'm sorry you think so. Oh, can I actually choose? Like, yeah. who to work for? Okay. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Ah, here we are. The pyramid is the social structure of our clan, with each level of advancement watched over by... Oh, so they're masons. ...apprentices here at the Chantry who are my charges, and I have a lord who watches... In most cases, Tremere are very selective about who they embrace and how it is done. There are traditions and laws that we adhere to, so the... Such things are possible, young one, but you would have to prove your worth to the clan before it would even be a... Con of course. I want to tell him that I'm already looking of course. into it for the Anarchs. Hmm. An interesting proposition. I will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me. Okay. Very well. Can play both sides, I think, so. Yeah. What is it? Well, in the meantime, give me that hacking. Or wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, what time is it? Is uh, it's nine o'clock for me. Oh, yeah. Ten for you. So we've been going about an hour and a half. Go oh, a couple more minutes. Um. So this is Skyline Apartments that I'm in, right? No, this is the Tremere Chantry. Oh, you just came from in there. Fuck. That's where you came from. Then who was the guy I had to meet? Hang on. You're not. Oh, you're on. Right. 
That's right, I already did that. Okay. And then this guy is at Skyline. Yep. Right, is that is that what it said? Can I explore anything up here? No. Huh. I wonder if I can explore more of this place, like, as I do stuff for for the Tremere. I don't know. I've never played this quest line, so... That's interesting. So, like, is... So, for each clan, is there, like, a different person that you meet when you go downtown? Um... Yeah, kind of, I guess. But uh, that's, like, the, the cult goal. Oh, is what it? That is. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I played, I played as a Toreador, and I didn't really have anybody who was like, Hey, I'm head shit Toreador, and you work for me now. Toreador don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. Like, the Fair. Tremere are a, a, a secret magic club, and y you have to join the secret magic club to learn the secret magic, so... yeah. Like Freemasons. Eventually they'll uh, teach me their secret handshake. Maybe. Uh, I will be back in, like, two minutes. Okay. Bye, box. Oh! Goodness gracious. Chat. Who's in the chat? Archie girl. Waiting for Nate to go drink some blood and take a pee. Oh. Uh, tell me tell me how you doing tonight. This, this chat's not hopping. <laughs> oh, to be fair, y'all are a few minutes behind me, so she's sick. Nice skybox. I wish Nate had left us looking at something other than this, but that's all right. <sighs> do do. the new game decided to explore the city wondering okay oh, oh so... man i just realized something nate what's that new bloodlines is set in seattle what's that new bloodlines is set in seattle oh really yeah oh it's man gonna be weird huh yeah hopefully the anarchs are well represented <laughs> yeah, so, um, oh, right, so I had this thought, um, that, 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 uh, cannibal, or I guess she's not a cannibal, she's eating humans, um, Hello? so, how, so, I get that that's their curse, and, like, that's what they need to do, but how does that not break the masquerade? Oh, actually, it's pretty cool. So, they have a specific discipline that allows them to uh, artificially preserve, like, flesh. Okay. When they do When they do kill someone, they can, like, keep it fresh and edible for, like, a period of time, like, longer than it normally would be. Uh, they also have the ability to um, crumble flesh into dust. So, like, you can, uh, uh, take a corpse and completely eradicate it into just a thing. Okay. So, uh, it's a. Uh, it, I think it's kind of interesting set of disciplines that uh, they have. So don't I don't know the lore behind Nagaraja that well, but they're another one of those uh, higher hotels. That this one is Skyline Apartments. Yep. I believe so. A little bit of blood on the door handle there. Eh, you know, it's LA. <laughs> yeah, that's so they that's that's how they okay. maintain their masquerade. So, so so what she's doing where she's killing multiple people in one night is not something that they have to do usually. Uh 
Um, no, but she'll... You know, that's what she gotta do. Yeah. Okay, I remember this place. Oh, um... Check your mailbox! If you got anything, you're in box four. Maybe you have some mail. Check it, huh? Right. Uh, nope. Yeah, what I meant to do. You still, you still owed some money from that doctor back in Santa Monica. You may have to go back there sometime. No, I think he gave me the money. I don't think it ever showed up in your inbox. I, I thought it did, but I don't remember now. Well, you should go. You should go to your apartment. Yep. That should be the first place you go. Okay. I for, I forgot I had my own apartment here. Uh... Oh. I don't think you've been inside it yet, have you? I don't remember. I I did, I did all the exploring here. Yeah. Code. It's a key code for your own fucking apartment. Oh, I don't think that you've. Yeah. I think that you have to get Lacroix. Eventually, let you live in these apartments. Okay. I think yes, that happened last time, and then I went. I don't remember which one of the. Apartments the I lives in. Yeah, I so I explored all of these. You can go through the vents and explore them. So I did. I, that I remember time. that. Yeah. I just don't remember which one belongs to the guy. I think that this one's like the socialite. She lives on the top floor. Yeah. So I think that it's the one down, but. It's a very exclusive apartment. <laughs> All penthouses. Yeah, true. Also, just to be sure. Oh. Was it wasn't didn't one of these apartments? Dude. That man just says that there's just a dead man. Uh -huh. Man's just straight up dead. Whoa. I was gonna say one of these apartments, like upstairs, had like a camera set up. Yeah, uh, you should listen to the messages and find out why that man's dead. Yeah. Paul, it's Hannah. Just calling to see how you are. Oh, Paul, this is the. Interesting. So he slept with a girl upstairs and probably murderated yep. her. Aw. Okay. Did she say 12.03? Yeah. Uh... Yep. Okay. Is this the apartment you couldn't get into? I believe so. Oh, well, yeah, this is one on the sixth floor. Oh. That is an old ass looking phone. What a weird countertop with a dragon on it. Where? Oh. Countertop. Oh yeah. Got dragon. Kind of rad. Oh. I'm into it. Yeah. Not as a countertop, but just in general. Okay. Hey, lady. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, I think I got sick from one of my 
clients. I was... She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but... Yo, that's a good vampire name. <laughs> Jezebel Locke is a good vampire name. She had a room at the Empire Hotel. Empire. I can't remember. What should I tell her? I mean, she's gonna die soon. Don't make her sad. Okay. Oh, I'm sure he will, Hannah. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, I gained humanity from that. Cool. She straight up, she straight up died, dude. Yeah, no, I know. Um, anyways, does she have anything valuable? <laughs> uh, you're the worst. Like. <laughs> like Uh, good throw! Yeah, that's meant to do that. It's a well-made Voss. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess three. <laughs> like how I told her, rest in peace while she's still alive. You know. I wouldn't she like, can rest hear in peace, it, right? wait, I'm not dead yet! Oh. I had this number, but I don't remember what it was. Is it open? No, it's not. <laughs> Are we gonna try mall? <laughs> yeah, you're keeping track, right? Uh... <laughs> Crap. Okay. I wonder if I can probably get in there from the one above it, or from a couple above it. Yeah. Yeah. We can always come back to that. I think I did that sh that that particular quest in a different order than you did. Okay. This one empty. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, right. Yeah, but she can go up on the next floor. Yeah. Okay, so let me go up to five. You can go up to five and then- you can go- you can go up to four for- I can't get into four, remember? Oh, right. No. Oh. Let's do five, then see if I can get down to three. I, I think I think going through the vents, the vent into four was blocked. Ah. I think you're not allowed to go into... That will be your apartment eventually, yeah. but you're not allowed in it yet. Uh, hey, Paul, how's it going, buddy? Well, at least, you know, at least him and Hannah, like, before he died, like, at least they made a connection. You know? That's, yeah, that's I nice. mean, can't you can't ask for more than that, really? Mm -hmm. like, we it's a pretty short life. You... Yeah, this is the one I haven't been. Oh hey. Oh come on. No. Difficulty six. Oh. Unhackable. Oh. In the bathroom. Okay, well. Uh, maybe maybe take the take that down to the next. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Fucker. <laughs> Cars that have collision with you, that fucking sucks. Yeah. But Yeah, the, the one the one in my uh or 
when I was when I was in the hospital and going up through the grate, the same thing was happening. Except it opened up, so that didn't make any sense. But and then the guy disappeared. That was the most disappointing thing. But hopefully, this will fix it. So this is gonna be two. Right. Okay. Oh. The bathroom. I don't know. I'm I'm confused. Yeah. Well. Email. Yeah. Ecstasy. Oh. Ectoplasm. <laughs> This is my next guess. Haunted LA is like the graded show ever. I totally am gonna visit all the places you talk about. Exclamation, exclamation, one. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. LOL. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> fanboy McGee. Big fanboy McGee. Holy shit, you suck. Angry guy with strong opinions. Haunted LA, my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, there's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. <laughs> Ooh, can I respond to that email? Well, <laughs> oh, here we go. Show 17. Hospital Horror, a dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patients to serve. Well... Eternal unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Mm. I both hate them and respect the hustle. <laughs> but this is also where the guy is, or should be. And he's not here, so I don't know. Was he hiding in the closet? <laughs> he's hiding in the closet. Alright. Okay. I was I was joking. I was about to give up on this quest, but sure. In the hospital, but in my crew, are they? Are they? <laughs> you send him to her. Mm -hmm. a joke. <laughs> a joke. A joke. Right. <laughs> Oh, real funny. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> Masquerade Redemption. <laughs> okay. Weird. Um. Okay, so that Masquerade Redemption thing that it says, I wonder uh -huh. if that's if I lost the Masquerade point. Oh yeah, that that might redeem. Yeah, that might. So I so, okay, so I didn't realize there was a way to like redeem that. Oh, here's the camera I was talking about. I knew there was a camera. Yep. What the uh, fuck? You exploded. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> That was amazing. From the hospital. <laughs> don't, don't play with that camera. It's full of yeah. fire. <laughs> it's made of 10,000 steaks. Yeah, like, did I get staked by the chair? Like, what the fuck happened? I don't know. Masquerade Redemption, yeah. So I haven't lost any Masquerade points. No, you haven't. So, I, I have, but, like, just, like, at the end of the stream when I'm, like, fucking around or whatever. And, right, like, right. once on accident, uh, when I didn't understand something. But, like, because it says, like, oh, right, the security guard that's spying on everybody. I remember mm -hmm. this. So, um... Oh, 
Yep. That's creepy as hell. Hang on. I'm in the bathrooms. Yep. There's Hannah. Saying. Where's Paul? No, they don't have Paul. Oh, it's not trained in the kitchen. I will, though. Oh. A guest appearance from Hello the Dog. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'll go back to her and uh, finish this quest at least, and then call it for the night. Awesome. But yeah, so so I didn't realize like you could because I I remember like I want to be very careful about the masquerade because it's like, hey, if you break it five times, you'll straight up just lose the game. I think um, it's three times, but yeah, it's because I have these. So oh, okay, it is five yeah, times. So, and it's like maybe maybe you start with three, and you can gain <laughs> those other two. I I don't know, but like, maybe. but um, I like I remember um. I remember it saying that, I was like, okay, well, obviously I want to be very careful about that. And then, apparently there are things where, <laughs> where you can do it, it's like, well, you helped us keep the masquerade in a, like, special circumstance, I guess. So, mm -hmm. we're not going to worry that you uh, fed on somebody in public. That's kind of what that seems like. Yep. I don't know how to get around here, so I uh, think yeah, that... I'm just kind of... I think you went in a circle because you just came from there. Though. I sure did. Uh. Pretty sure if you head down. Oh, that just goes around. Yeah. If you head down that alleyway and then keep trying to go like in that direction. I hate, I hate how there's like, literally no. Direction markers, though. Yeah. I do love these gargoyles. So, they turn, look so cool. Turn uh, that way. Left. And then maybe, yeah, make a left. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the gargoyles are at the center of the city, though. So. Makes sense. Ah, yep. It's right here. Your call. Ah. Alright, so we're gonna go... Go on downstairs and talk to our flesh eater. Yeah. Our number. What's that? I'm gonna go down and get our number. I think you still have to go through the vent. Uh, yeah. I mean, if she's, you know, I, I, obviously I'd ask her to brush her teeth, you know, before we do anything. But like, other than that, like, yeah, whatever. I mean, you eat blood too. I eat blood, okay? That doesn't mean I, I have bits of flesh stuck to my teeth. I guess that's true. She might actually not be interested. She did mention that she had a girlfriend, so... Oh, that's a good call. That's... yeah. <laughs> Gotta go under the stairs. What is it? Ah, uh, where was it? Oh, under... yeah, right. Jesus. You know, I will say, like, uh, as somebody who, like, watches, you know, people stream games and stuff, you, you know, and sometimes you're like, no, you idiot, like, you were just in this area ten minutes ago, go left. Um, it, it's much different when you're actually streaming yourself, because oh, yeah. you're trying to, like, one, you know, pay attention to the game, but also carry on a conversation uh -huh. that's not always about the game, you know? Um, right. just be entertaining, and then, you know, like I just did, I missed the turn, and it's like, now somebody watching is like, you idiot! Go under the <laughs> stairs! So, uh, yeah. So, I, I kinda get that, so. I think I you can- I need to jump over, yeah. Ah! Ha ha! Then it's- oh, I can go in this- what the fuck? Just caught on the- caught on oh the fucking God. gurney! Oh, and to the left here, and through the blood door. What's up? The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a I really like her look. She man, looks really cool. It may yeah, she does. Devoured, so it has. Another thing that they can do is when they eat flesh, they can like 
sense a little bit of the soul of the person who they ate. So they, like, get a little flash of their memories and life and stuff. Oh. I think that's pretty rad. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Hmm. A fetish is Oh, crap. Hmm. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Voice of the Dead? If you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Yes. Did you bring her? <laughs> What's that? Did you bring her a snack? Life is bored. I mean, I sent her that guy. Without death, he's, he seems very hungry. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestered. Her, her voice sounds so familiar. Who is this? I'm, I'm gonna look up her voice actress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I brought you a little snack. It satisfies you. I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming the flesh oh, okay. of spite, but out of self-preservation, I wither and rot without it. It Yes. I'll leave you back devouring oh. flesh and poking at death. Huh. That's why I, I, I know what her. the snack thing was. Did I have like a human hand in my inventory? That sounds like yes. something I probably you had. Did. You had an arm! Yes. A human ass arm. Yes, it was one of my weapons. Hmm. Okay, so fun yes. fact. Yes. Okay. Sorry. This go actress, ahead. This actress is Marianne McGlynn. Okay. Uh, and the reason that I recognized her voice is that she played uh, Mato M Agent Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell. Okay. So that's where I recognized her from. But I'm going to look at video games. See what else she was in? Uh, yeah. She was... Yeah. If I recognize anything. Hmm. I think the reason that I recognized her just is because she was Major Kusanagi. She's been in a bunch of stuff. She she's really um ah, there we go. Really prolific voice actress in anime and animation. Okay. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she t she plays Dr. Mahesh Warren in Steven Universe. I don't know who that is. Um Oh, is yeah. that is that um I don't know the character's name. Honey's the... mom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she is a voice director for She-Ra, the new She-Ra. Okay, that just ended. Oh, she's in Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars Resistance. Who is she in Rebels? She was Governor Arihinda Price and others. Okay. I, I haven't watched Rebels yet, but I, I know like the main characters' names because they're in the uh, Star Wars game I play. Yeah. The, um, I, the mobile game I play. I literally just watched like the first couple episodes of In the Lone Complex during the quarantine. Oh, really? So that's, that's why her voice sounded so familiar to ah, me. Cool. Uh, okay. Clem well, says cool. hi. Who's making soup? What kind of soup were you making, Clems? Uh, yeah, that, I, I like. I don't. I'm not very good at recognizing voice actors, so when I do, I get excited. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, four XP. Okay. Hmm. But as as avid listeners to our podcast will know, Stand Alone hmm. Complex is my favorite show of all time. Oh. <laughs> nice. I should watch oh. that at some point. Yeah, I think you would like it. It's... Yeah. Seems like the kind of thing I would really enjoy. It's kind of an interesting thing to watch right now from a political standpoint because uh, Section 9 are cops, but they also get totally screwed by the government and the real cops because they're like special cops. 
only deal with like cyber crimes and they get scapegoated and then they like it's a little bit of a spoiler but they they end up having to like rogue and like fight against the corrupt cop system so yeah i mean that's a fairly common cyberpunk kind of thing yeah it's not, or even you know common where in a lot of uh a lot of shows where like yeah this yes these people are military or law enforcement of some type but mm -hmm. they're fighting you know the corrupt military or the corrupt law enforcement so yeah. one of the one of the episodes is interesting though because they interrogate the idea that like get the bad guy and they get the job done and then they sort of find out afterward that they didn't have the whole picture and the guy oh. wasn't exactly guilty and like you kind of have to cope with that idea of like you didn't really do justice here so <laughs> I man puked to blood it's interesting none of his buddies are coming they must be on strike right Apparently nobody saw that, and so I did not nobody break Masquerade. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's a question. It's a criminal, it's a criminal violation. violation to make the CDC dance? I can't feed on them. Yeah! No, see, this is this is what we need. This will solve all the world's problems. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. Now they're mad about it. Yeah. I, I what I actually want to do one of these save. So that's one. And I what I kind of want to do one of these saves is just fuck around and um. Oh shit. Huh. Is kind of just fuck around and see what happens if I get the five. Uh, I did save the game before this, of course. If okay. I get the five masquerade violations and see what happens. Huh. Right? Like, like I, I want to see if it's just like an ending screen, or or is it you know is it an ending screen or is it like, or is it like, hey, you know, like a cutscene where I'm like standing in front of Lacroix. Police giving up. <laughs> uh, uh, the best slider in the game. <laughs> right? I mean... <laughs> I will not be deterred. Oh. Hit you with a billy club. Yeah. Just shot your man. <laughs> I don't bro. think that- I don't think that you're- I'm not- I'm somehow not violating the masquerade anymore. This is like just one rampage. Yeah, I- I don't- I don't get why it's not violating the masquerade. I- I was under the impression every time somebody saw something. I'm down, buddy. Alright, somebody went running. I- I- I was under the impression that- like, every time somebody saw me do something, that was a violation that it would count, but... I guess I guess it's like when you call in sick to work, like, you may as well call in for, like, three days because it's only one occurrence, you know? Good call. <laughs> Alright. Can I... Oh, here, let's do this. Just, I, I just want to see... Oh, you threw up in your mask! Oh, oh so no! <laughs> they both just looked down anymore. at the blood pile and started running in opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Man, I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, police giving up, yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't... Yeah, alright, well, anyways... I think we'll call it there for the night. Um, I am so glad I met that uh, flesh-eating vampire. She she is so cool. Um, I definitely need to find those artifacts for her. Yeah, she's rad. Uh, CDC guys, 
um, virologists and epidemiologists and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for your service. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah. No, but really, thank you. Um, anyways, not, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll the best call it job here. Just standing there, though. I mean, yeah, they weren't actually CDCing anything. Man, yeah. I can't wait till this. What's the upgrade? Like, eventually you can upgrade this. Oh, you like steal? The yeah, well, well, it'll be drained and sent to me, and then <laughs> the target's blood is instantly heated to boiling, causing him to explode violently. It. That is a thing I want to do. Like, if I don't yeah. get enough points to do that by the end of the game, I'm going to do console command so I can do it. It's totally fair. I, I want like to see that, that. I like that Blood Boil, they explode, and you also, like, everyone around them takes damage. Yeah. Big splash damage from the boiling blood. Yeah, you know. You do. <laughs> Alright, well, this was fun. Yeah. So, I, I'm glad uh, we're starting to get back into it. I uh, should have another one up next week as well. Um, yeah. Hopefully, if, you know, things go. You know, provided the apocalypse. Don't make yeah. the homeless lady barf. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so just, uh, you know, whatever Tuned. it is, we, we hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, and, you know... <laughs> watching how ridiculous and dumb this uh, vampire stuff can be, but also, you know, some interesting lore. Uh, um, I, I don't yeah. mean dumb in a derogatory sense. I think it's dumb, but sort of gleefully so. Uh, yeah, I, it does. It doesn't take. Uh, it doesn't take itself super seriously. I think. Yeah. I, I think that this would be an extremely joyless experience if it did, if it took itself super seriously. So. Right. Like even even half the responses my character can say are you know pretty damn funny. Yeah. Um, so. Uh. But yeah. So um. Whatever you need to do to uh, to make your voice heard and stay safe, but also you know take whatever action you need to just do that and uh you are not you are not alone uh, stay angry stay safe say stay angry oh, maybe not maybe not quite this angry i mean <laughs> all right and that's going to do it for the night yep good night right, good night <laughs>